Hey everyone, if you didn't know, I'm not really a vlogger type. I'm not the best at vlogging. So this video is really filmed out of order, but there were things I wanted to say before other things in the video. <laughs> so just bear with me. Um, if you like these types of vlogs, I'll do more of them whenever I'm doing stuff. If you guys want to see more everyday kind of content from me, let me know. I think I need to stick to fashion videos. <laughs> Let's get into the rest of the video. I'm just letting you guys know if things don't make sense, that's why. I'm going to film my Doc Martens video right now, but I have some new pieces from Nasty Gal that I'm probably going to use in the video, and I wanted to show you guys it now because, I don't know, I think it's fun to show you guys like this, so yeah, let me get those pieces. Okay, I had to go to the front door because I've already been wearing these sandals all the time. They're these uh, crisscross black slides, and I think they're such a step up from my like Adidas athletic slides they look like a dupe for like designer ones oh and thank you so much to nasty gal for sponsoring this video they sent me all these items i wanted to make that clear i'm literally wearing <laughs> i'm wearing their sweatpants that they sent me a while a while ago i don't even know how long the next thing i got freaking adorable this jean jumpsuit i love finding these kind of pieces for you guys because you guys know i have another jumpsuit that i wear all the time and i cannot wait to start wearing this one these jumpsuits are so easy i put them on all the time and wear them i put them on all the time and wear them girl really i'm constantly wearing these because it's so easy it's just already a fit it comes with the little belt around the waist so you can cinch your waist in nicely then something that's so loved right now is a black blazer it's already oversized and then i got it in large because i want to be able to wear it just with like some tights or like yeah funky socks the docks this will be in that video that's why i wanted to show you guys now so i got this little black cardigan super cute super simple i just thought with my funky pants if i say funky one more time in a video take my channel away with funky pants just like a simple black cardigan works perfectly then we've got a pair of leggings and these are a pair that a lot of you guys always ask me about it's that slit bottom legging i have another pair of these but they don't fit right like they're way too tight and then i just squeeze myself into them and never feel good so i decided to get another pair and i wanted to let you guys know that nasty gal has these split bottom leggings for a really good price if you've been wanting to try these out the last three items are bags the first bag is this little beaded purse that i think is so cute how practical is it i don't know but if you i think ruby lynn shoes may be the first one to do it i might be wrong but i've seen a lot of people credit her when she, they do the like trend of hanging your purses on the wall i think i'm gonna hang this purse on the wall then i got two other purses <laughs> i need to chill on the purses but i was never a purse girl and now like i'm obsessed so i got this little quilted kind of style one and it's the amazing type of bag that is definitely designer inspired but you do that and you can do it either long or you can do it short like that and i really like the look of it it's a nice size and can definitely hold a lot and then i got it in a white color i don't or it's cream i don't have any cream bags so i was really excited to pick this one up and i knew i was gonna love the black one so much that i had to get it in both colors and it's got the same strap detail these are my favorite types of purses because i really do like the look of just like a shoulder bag but the practicality of a shoulder bag it's like so so i get really irritated wearing it as a shoulder bag so i love the option to do that and that's everything from nasty guys i'll have everything linked down below for you guys if you want to check these items out no pressure now I'm going to get into the rest of the video. I'll show you guys how I do my hair and the vlog of Katie. Okay, see ya. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my blown out hair. Uh, I got a few requests for this and it's actually a new thing I've been doing. I have this Holden Shine hairspray by Kin, K-Y-N, and I <laughs> filled it up with water when the hairspray was like to the very bottom because I wanted to get more use out of it and I use this to like dampen my hair when I'm gonna 
show you what I'm gonna do. So it works. It's like barely any hairspray and just a little bit of water. So much better to get these non aerosol ones because you can reuse, like, this is a little sprayer bottle and fill it up with other stuff, which I really like. <laughs> I really think those, like, those kind of bottles, though, they don't want you to reuse them. They want you to just, like, go out and buy a new one because the top never goes back on correctly. It always drips on me. So I'm gonna first do my bangs. I'm gonna part out like my face framing pieces and we're going to brush them forward. This is just how I like to do my bangs for like more of a curtain bang look without curtain bangs. Okay, so here I'm just showing you that I brush and dry the bangs in opposite directions going like towards my face. I don't really know how to explain that with words. You can see here. And then I roll it up going backwards and I hold it there for a second just to heat up the hair a bit. This is the key. You take a roller. These were my mom's. She probably got them at Rite Aid or something. And you just roll in the same direction that you did the blow drying. And it's gonna curl or it's gonna cool in this position which will make the hair stay better than just a blowout. So we're gonna do that for the rest of the head. And I don't have too many rollers, that's why I don't do it to the bottom. But come along. I might have to spray again because it's drying so fast today. I can put you in a low cabin somewhere in Aspen. Girl ain't nothing to paint, ain't tricking if you got it what you asking for. Put you in a mansion. Somewhere in Wisconsin Like I said, ain't nothing to the pain We can change that last name, what's happening? Cause you look so good Tell me why you wanna work here Okay, so this is it All put up Obviously, I don't have enough curlers to do my whole head So the back just kind of stays out but it really doesn't bother me because my hair is already like straight enough to be left alone. So you might need more curlers than this. The front's what I want like to be that super like face framing like curled in look. This is not going to curl my hair. It just kind of gives it volume and a better look than just pin straight in my opinion. I think the curlers are so fun though. I'm going to do my makeup though. It takes me about 10-15 minutes to do my makeup. And then I'll be back and I'll take out my hair for you guys. Take out the front one first. And I just unroll it instead of like rip it straight out. Oh my god, this literally looks like... Remember when you would go to the hairdresser and um, you didn't get to like look on Pinterest before and find the haircut or color you wanted? You had to look through those books to find like those magazines on the front. I feel like they always had weird hairstyles like that in the books. And you'd be like, has anyone come in here and asked for that? This looks good. Great. Yeah, they come out really easy though. Then you just pull them straight down and not like sideways or something. So yeah, I don't know how big these are, but it'd probably be good to have like different sized ones. I just don't because I stole those from my mom. She doesn't use them anymore. And I saw a girl on TikTok doing her hair with rollers and I was like, I want to do my hair with rollers. And now I'm kind of obsessed. So you can brush through it because it's not like a curl like look at the volume you guys that's the hair I was just gonna put music over this part but I feel like I have to explain myself and I think of my YouTube channel and I've said this before I don't think of my channel as to entertain I really think of it as to inform and teach and you come to my channel and learn something about fashion or whatnot. So vlogging is really hard for me. Showing you guys what I do isn't that hard, but thinking any of it is worth putting on the internet really turns into a struggle. All these clips were supposed to be its own vlog. I just couldn't imagine somebody wanting to watch them. So that's just my dilemma. I had a lot of talking bits too and like even this right now is hard for me. I don't know why I have such an issue with 
keeping what I have to say in videos. I really feel like the only time I actually get my feelings and opinions and what I'm thinking out into the world is when I do an Instagram live and don't have that filter. I am the biggest filter in the whole world. You guys don't know how many videos and times I talk and I just cut everything out. So that's why this ending clip is just kind of weird. I thought these clips were fun to watch and they made the cut so that has a lot to say I guess. I had a lot of fun with Katie. If you can't tell we have a really good time together. If you guys want to see more vlogs I can try and get better at it. I know once I live in the bus I'm gonna want to have those memories forever. I have vlogs I edit and upload and keep them private forever so maybe one day I'll put all those on public. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in a few days with probably a fashion video. <laughs> okay bye.